Hello guys and welcome to this video tutorial on how to calculate the SPI index from the rainfall data for a given study period. Okay, for this you'll be needing three things. Firstly, you will need the rainfall data for the given period arranged in year, month and precipitation format. Here you can see I have arranged the rainfall data in year, month and precipitation format column wise. Mind one thing over here guys, this precipitation data you're seeing is the monthly average values, not the daily values. So if you have the daily values, just convert them, just take an average and convert them, them to monthly values and just arrange them in this format. My study period goes from 1980 to 2017. Yours might be different. Well, all the data has been arranged. Secondly, you will be needing R Studio installed in your computer. The R Studio interface should be something like this. Well, I'll just click on it here. And uh, yeah, just click on it. So I have to clear it out. And now just go to edit and clear console. And this part will be cleared out. Just click, click on this green light. Thirdly, you will need my Excel file. Well, I have left the links in the description. I will be giving you this file, guys, where you have a raw data sheet and all the outputs will be coming in this file. You will not have to make any changes to this part except for the station number or whatever station name. You could give a change over here. You will not even have to edit anything over here. And SPI 3 part sheet. You will just have to enter raw data over here. SPI 6 and SPI 12 also appear the same. Well, let's just move into what we should be doing. What do we have to do? Okay, you initially just open up your raw data file. So this is my raw data file. And just copy the year, month and precipitation data. Control C, copy and paste it into this project file, which I will be giving you and paste it v over here now what this will do is uh, just wait guys suppose i delete everything go and change it to tab but nothing will be empty so just go and paste your data in this first cell then it will appear in these sheets as well secondly you will have to go to our studio and install a package called In order to repeat the same code in R, just hit on the arrow, up arrow key and just click on it again. Um, and this is not code, well, text, text will be installed and the package will be installed. Successfully unpacked. Okay, now go to packages tab over here. package will be ready to be used now secondly you'll have to import data set you'll have to import the excel file so just import the project file i'll be giving you this file just import this file after you feed in the raw data over here just import this file in our studio from excel on browse well my file is named as project where is it mm, yeah open up and Okay, this should be this should be displayed the raw data file the raw data should be displayed if something else like uh, for example for example something like this if something like this is displayed just go to sheets over here and go to raw data sheet and yeah this is what you actually need so just import this portion and it'll be displayed over here. Now go to this console part where you'll be hitting in all the codes required. So type in SPI and the symbol and SPI and open the brackets and hit in the file name. So my file name is guys project capital P R O J C T 
cd so just hit p-p-r-o-g-e-c-t it is case sensitive sensitive so mind in the uppercase and lowercase characters now go to after that just your precipitation data Well, what this basically does is this SPI is a function and this is the file name uh, this dollar sign particularly extracts this PRCP precipitation column data and it is three refers to the time period so this part basically gives us the three month SPI and stores it in this variable SPI3 SPI3 variable now if you type in SPI3 and hit also create the spi3 plot here itself in our studio for that you'll have to type in here the plot spi sorry spi and type in the variable state which you just asked for she is assigned it as spi she is a, if you have assigned something different to her then this is what it will be the interface symbol and this will be zero to zero if you want this plot just export it as pdf and save it accordingly in your place i will not do this because i have already Similarly, repeat the process for SPI 6. The symbol here basically assigns something to this variable. So, SPI project. We store the data in SPI 6. Now, if I hit Well now, do the same thing, if you want to make a plot then repeat the same code, this code, with an SPI 6 here. If you want for SPI 12, just follow these codes first with SPI 12, SPI and 12 over here and SPI 12. Now, what you need to do is guys. Don't start from here. Don't start from this combination of the Just like copy the file that I've made here. And then go to project file. Now go to the SPI3 tab because as I have just copied the SPI3 data and go to this cell over here. Will be displayed now go to data go to text to columns and we are converting all these data into respective columns so just duplicate this and now if you have the rest generated here similarly repeat okay just this data Repeat the same process for SPI 6. Just go to the R Studio and copy this SPI 6 indices. Control C and paste it right. Sorry, this is my raw data file. Go to project file, paste it right over here. Control V. Go to data, go to text to columns, go to next. This is my original. This is the main sheet, guys. You can rename the sheet as per your station name. Just don't forget to feed in the required data in this raw data sheet initially, and everything will be done. So that's all, guys. Repeat the same process for SPI 12, and there you have it. You'll have everything ready. Also, don't forget to change in the names of station over here, here, and here. And suppose you have a different time period, guys. You'll have to make a small change over here. You'll have to go to this portion. My time period starts from 1980. So suppose if you have the years starting from suppose 2000, then just make a small change over here. Go to this tab, and if your year is 2000, subtract 2000, 2 from 2000, it will give you 1998 and enter it over here.